my apologies, Kepler 47 ABB. I didn't notice you were there. Maybe because of how small of a gas giant you are. Oh, don't mind him, Kepler 47 ABB. Sometimes Kepler 47A's title as the largest object in the Kepler 47 system gets into his head. I suppose so. After all, he is just a bit heavier and nearly the size of the sun. Perhaps he's insecure about being only 85% as bright as the sun. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Oh hey Kepler 47 ABC, nothing much. Kepler 47A shot another solar flare at me. Classic 47A. Anyways, do you guys want to learn about our system and its formation? Well, maybe another time. I'll take that as a yes. It all started with a molecular cloud composed of mainly gas and dust collapsing under gravity. Two clumps form within the rotating disk, becoming protostars. The protostars gather mass, with one becoming larger, forming two main sequence stars. The larger of the two would eventually become Kepler 47A. A disk of gas and dust remains around the stars. Planetesimals in the disk coalesce into planets. The planets eventually became super puffs due to their low mass and density and thick app. All of us ended up having safe orbits because we are far away enough to not cause any problems. Hmm, and what makes you guys think that you're special? Well, I am a warm Neptune orbiting two stars at the same time in a certain binary orbit. I'm the innermost planet here, completing an orbit every 50 days, and I orbit within the habitable zone, where liquid water could potentially exist, though I'm larger than Uranus and Neptune, making me a gas giant. I could have moons that are potentially habitable. I also have a similar orbital period to the Earth, at 303 days or 9 months. Hey everyone, what are we talking about? Hey Kepler 47 ABD, Kepler 47 A over here thinks that we aren't special. What a jerk. My low density and puffy nature set me apart. Despite being 20 Earth masses, nearly that of Uranus and Neptune, I'm still about the size of Saturn. My discovery added to the evidence that certain binary systems can harbor multiple planets. Fine, perhaps you guys are a little interested. 